as a follow-up to my worm video, I also have my moth set up here. I find simple is a little bit better, although it doesn't look the nicest, but I wanted to follow up the worms with what I do at this stage. So this is just um, the Reptabreeze Extra Large Screen Cage. I have noticed that it does rip their wings up a bit, so I have a couple things I'm going to try out with that. But this did really well, and all of the worms in my first video actually came from this setup. So I have my feeder with my nectar, which I'm going to change out because I don't have any quite ready yet. This is just a fiddle fig leaf, or fiddle fig, fiddle leaf fig plant. And I like this one because the leaves are huge, so they do lay on it, but then it's really easy to check it over because it's not a bunch of tiny leaves. I had a bunch of these fake ones in there before, but it was taking me like an hour to try and flip over every single leaf and check all the sides. So I have this one, and that fake one will probably come out with my next round of moths. And then right in my moth cage, I keep my pupa bucket. We got a new one. So when my worms get huge, I drop them right in here. And this stays in here even when the moths are in here. It just helps keep the humidity up a little bit too. So it's kind of dual purpose. But I'll drop them right in here. If they do manage to get out of this bucket, they're still enclosed within the screen cage itself. And I just kind of drop them back in. I do dig up my pupa. I don't have them hatch from under the ground. I dig them up after about a week and I place them right on top and I just kind of let them hang out there. There's actually about a dozen still under the surface that I haven't dug up yet. When I checked I did still see a green worm so I was just giving it a bit more time. And then I take a paper towel and I put that over my pupa so that I can mist without misting the pupa directly. And I do spray a little extra on the dirt so that way it seeps down. I use um, Eco Earth and it can get pretty dusty. And a lot of times I will give my plant a little water each day when I mist. It kind of frequent watering but it's just a little bit at once and it just helps me keep everything uniform and all in one timing so yeah now we're just waiting for some moths they lived about six days this round and they laid close to 300 different eggs that's what's all in the worm bin is everything that came from just two moths i pupated six but it must have been a bad round or something because only two of them hatched but I did get a male and a female so we did have babies and this time I am pupating a lot more hoping that I'll get better results so yeah stay tuned and I'll keep you guys updated